Well, I finally got it open. It looks like the um, it's uh, fared pretty good. I totally forgot that I painted. You can see the black metal paint in there. I painted the met the magnets and the stator last time I had it open, and uh, you know, there's not much rust in there considering I've been through a few rainstorms. Just little black dust. And as you can see, I got it all nicely sealed up all around here. So what I need to do is I need to dig into the wiring here and find the one that comes in for the fans. And then we need to cut it and somewhere add this. I would like to mount it this way. Even if I had to epoxy it. The only reason like when I touched this when after I went for a ride it wasn't that it was just lukewarm. But this edge here was really hot. So that's the perfect place to put it right there. Even if I can just epoxy it there, it's it's not going to move and it's still going to transfer the heat. We'll see. I don't want to drill holes into it, obviously. Epoxy works pretty good. I'll just have to grind it a little bit where I'm going to glue it. Uh, so it's not a smooth surface. But uh, let's see, i got to find the wiring and then we'll uh, go from there. Just going to do a quick test just to make sure that the um, all the fans are spinning up. Which they are. Those uh, San Ace 40s. Not bad. They've been through hell and they still work. Plus they can take up to 15 volts. It's pretty cool. Take off. <laughs> so we're going to do is um, try and find the wiring. Okay, so it looks like we're going off this wire here. We've got a red lead that's coming in through here and then coming out here and up to here and then it's tied to the rest of the red leads. I kept that color coded so it makes it easier to grab. We're just going to um, pull it apart basically. Then what we'll do is we'll I'll get two more leads and solder off of that and shrink wrap them. Well, I saved you that boring procedure. Stinky soldering. Okay, so this is what we got. The shrink wrap is ready to go. We're going to first. What we're going to do is we're going. To, you see this plate here? We're going to epoxy this to the sensor and then when it hardens then I'll epoxy it to the ring of the uh, stator like that. And I even put a little bit of um, heat uh, heat uh, paste in there as well. It'll help. It's never going to be moved again so probably get it as far as here. I just want to keep wiring down. Nothing that's going to snag and rub up against the motor. We're right, right about there, so I'm going to mix my epoxy and uh, we'll come back.
Okay, I think we're done. Uh, so basically put it back together and it's doing exactly what I want it to do. It does, uh, I know it will get hot enough in there to turn it on, so we're good to go. I don't have to do anything else. I was thinking of putting screens on this, um, on the holes, but I had no idea I repainted everything. Everything like it's, it's, it's made to take a little bit of abuse. It's watertight somewhat on the halls, too. So, I think we're good there. Just going to leave it. Get back on the bike and try and get another season out of it. It's getting a little bit darker on the uh, windings. Not too bad. If there was blotches of darkness, I'd be a little bit worried. But uh, I think that's uh, that's going to that's going to work pretty good. Later, guys.